I'm Scott Michaels, and we're here at my office, Dearly Departed Tours, with not one, but two blonde bombshells. Are you talking about me? I'm talking about you, my friend Erin Murphy from Bewitched. And, do uh, you know, one of you is not a natural blonde. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that leaves that one. So, uh, Marilyn Monroe, before she was Marilyn Monroe, she was Marilyn... Uh, she Norma, was Norma Jean Baker. Norma Jean Baker, that's right. Norma Jean Doherty, too, when she got married. And we're going to see where Marilyn Monroe went from a brunette to a blonde. Oh, fun. Let's go. We are now inside the former Frank and Joseph Salon, and this is the very place where Marilyn Monroe went blonde. The, the very, very first time. Oh, wow. It was her agent at the Blue Book Modeling Agency. Her name was Emmeline Snively, and I uh, recommended that Marilyn go blonde. So she came here. Her hairdresser, Sylvia Barner, was nearsighted. And when she didn't have her glasses on one day, Marilyn noticed her slamming into furniture and things like that. And that was the inspiration for her character in How to Marry a Millionaire. Oh, I love with the that glasses, one. Remember? I love that film. So, but it's funny because you wouldn't even know. Except, that, look. There she is. Marilyn's still around. <laughs> <laughs> this town was made on Marilyn, and uh, and there she is. Actually, it's funny because you wouldn't know this. You just there's no there's nothing to say that this is a an historic landmark. It's our own kind of history, I suppose. Well, it shows that everywhere in Hollywood there's history. You just have to find out what it is. Yeah, you can't you can't shake a stick without seeing Marilyn, and they have their own little tribute to Marilyn, I think. <laughs> <laughs>